What up, everybody? Amir Rahimi here, owner of Rapping and Snacking. Another episode of Collector's Corner. Let's just get right to it. First off, I'm going to show you a, a pickup that I got from eBay. This is Boogie Down Productions' last album that they recorded. This is Sex and Violence. This is interesting, and the reason why I picked this up is because this is the alternate cover, uh, which you really don't see much of. At least I haven't. Um, I picked this one up for $14 shipped, and yeah, man, I mean... To my knowledge, there's no difference between this covered pressing and the standard cover pressing. But anyways, it was awesome to pick this up. And I'm not sure if it's limited or anything like that. But boom. Next up, another eBay pickup. This is, uh, you know, Too Short, one of my favorite rappers of all time. I also think he has one of the most impressive catalogs of all time. He's basically been rapping for almost 40 years at this point. And this is his Married to the Game album. I just didn't have it. Uh, there's nothing special about this pressing. Uh, I just didn't have it. So I was happy to pick this one up for $7 uh, shipped from eBay. Next up, got another eBay pickup. And this one is just really, really, really dope because it's my favorite rapper. Ice Cube Lethal Injection, a promo shot uh, from the album. Just $7 and I'm happy because I feel like this was a steal. Uh, on my end, uh, $7 shipped can't really get much better than that. But anyways, very, very clean copy. Boom. And that was, yeah, $7 from eBay. Next up from eBay, another one. Got a Vince Staples magazine. Um, he was shot for the cover, but there's actually no reference or articles on Vince Staples. I was hoping there'd be an interview or something like that, but he's literally only on the cover. So it's kind of a bummer. However, $10, um, yep, eBay. Another eBay one. So this is actually a little more expensive than the other stuff, but uh, I was still happy I picked it up because I haven't really seen any of these. Or actually, this is the only one that I have seen up to this point. Um, I'm not even sure if it's on Discogs. Maybe it is. But anyways, this is 3-6 Mafia's Choice is the Movie but on VHS, and I'd actually recently seen this movie, and it is pretty funny, a little low budget, but uh, dope because it's got, you know, DJ Paul, Juicy J, Project Pat, LeChat, Poncho, you know, a few others in this movie, and it was still entertaining, and, you know, they showcase old 3-6 Mafia songs and a couple that were used on uh, the actual soundtrack, too. I was happy I picked this one up. Super clean, $60 uh, eBay shipped. Next up, we're going to go to a Discogs purchase. This one I picked up, I believe it was from Germany. Um, but Discogs shipped, it was $15. Um, and anyways, I'm going to show you uh, these two CD singles I got. One of which is from Dazzy D. This CD single has <clears throat> Knee Deep, On My Side, and The Rebirth. All of which are from his album, The Rebirth. And this is just a really, really, really solid album just all together produced by Battle Cat. Uh, I'm assuming a lot of people haven't heard it, so um, it has features from Ice Cube, Coolio, The Chill, and I believe a couple others. Dolomite has a spot on there too, and it's just really good. So if you haven't heard this album, uh, The Rebirth by Dazzy D, pick that one up. And the other CD single I got from this uh, bundle was the Ice Cube, It Was a Good Day. And this is interesting because this is just an alternate cover the cover they used in this particular pressing is this one, which I'm showing from my personal collection that I didn't pick up from this bundle, is the Check Yourself cover. So as you can see, it's the same exact cover. So I don't know if this was like a misprint or if, you know, Priority gave Fourth and Broadway the rights to this photo instead of the other, you know, standard It Was A Good Day photo, but whatever. Dope, picked it up, $15. Discogs. Another Discogs. This is, uh, this I got for $14 shipped. Start off with the single. This is the E side is G'd up. This is just a really, really, really dope song. Um, still sealed. Dope cover too. Awesome stuff. And the other part of that bundle, I got the 3-6 Mafia Last to Walk. And the reason why I also picked this one up too in particular is because this has an alternate cover. So I was happy to see that. 
uh, haven't gotten this far in their discography yet, I'm sure I'll like it because just everything has been just really, really, really good or great or a classic from 3-6 Mafia uh, that I've heard so far. Next up, let's go ahead and do Amazon, an Amazon pickup that I got. This is uh, Public Enemy's uh, latest album, What You Gonna Do When the Grid Goes Down, and I haven't heard it yet, still sealed. Um, yeah, I've heard good things about it, so we'll see what I think. And also got the vinyl. I opened it up because there were some stickers uh, in it, and I wanted to check them out. But still uh, open shrink, got the hype sticker on it. Hope I like it. So I'll peep this out. And this I just got for the stock price, so I'm not even going to relay the price because it was just, you know, anyone can get it for that price. Nothing special. Let's go ahead and get to my next pickup, which is also an Amazon purchase. This is Brother Lynch Hung's album, Season of the Sickness, The Resurrection. And this I also, like I said, got from Amazon. I pre-ordered it because I was scared it was going to sell out. It's limited edition vinyl. It's a wild, if you haven't heard, it's just a wild album. It, it has a lot of gore. It has cannibalism. It's just got a bunch of stuff that a lot of people, it would probably make their stomach turn. But Brother Lin Chung is just a super dope rapper. He knows how to flow. He's gangster. He's just, he's dope, man. So um, I'm not sure if Amazon stopped selling these or what's going on, but I'm happy I picked it up. And it was, I believe, like, the stock price on Amazon was only like 30 bucks or something like that. So I thought it was good to be a limited and, and colored vinyl and all that. Next up, taking it back to Discogs. This is 3-6 Mafia's Last Walk. So I literally just talked about this. And this is the original cover right here. So let me pull up the CD that I just showed you. This is the other Last Walk um, cover. So you can see there are two different covers. This vinyl I got for 35 shipped. Very clean condition. Um... I'm very excited to peep this out. I'm really hoping it's dope once I get to it. But boom, Discogs right there. And then let's see what's next. We got another vinyl. So next up, this was also, okay, so this was a limited pressing. This is from um, one of those companies that does a lot of represses and uh, also, you know, shows or puts out um, albums for the first time, you know, that either weren't properly pressed on vinyl or didn't have picture covers and stuff, you know, along those uh, guidelines. This is Spice Once 187 he wrote, pressed by Arm the Billion Records. Just a classic album, my personal favorite from Spice One. And um, I remember Tupac had a quote where he said, this is the most hardest shit ever recorded. And um, it's just a really, really, really good album. Spice One is just awesome. And uh, I'm positive this is just sold out by now, so maybe you can catch a reseller, hopefully not for too much if you don't have it. Boom, big time, big time. <laughs> just a big time banger, man, Spice One, shout out. Uh, next up, let's go ahead and, and show you some CDs I got. Most of these should be from the artist's website, if I recall, and you know they're all just the standard prices. First up, Conway and Alchemist Lulu. Um, for those who had the digital copy, you know, before they press up the physicals, the cover is slightly different. Um, and this is just a pretty, pretty dope album. It also, this CD pressing also has, um, the instrumentals. So it's seven tracks of just, you know, the standard tracks and an extra seven for the instrumentals. Pretty dope release right here, Alchemist and Conway. So I believe I believe that was like twenty dollars. It was whatever they're selling it for. Another one. This is um still Brasel the Camp. This is Benny the Butcher's Burden of Proof, produced by Hip Boy. I haven't listened to this one yet, so I can't comment on it. Comment on it yet. I did um buy this from Empire's website, and I believe they had it for like twelve dollars or something like that. It was Empire, right? Yeah, Empire, cause cause they also release this. But um, I'm excited to peep this one out because Hip Boy's been putting out a lot of material, uh, at least he did in 2020. And, you know, so far it's been pretty dope from what I've heard. So, hoping I also like Burden of Proof by Benny. Next up, this is one that I picked up from, what is the, yeah, Holy, Holy Toledo Productions. Okay, so I picked this one up, came with a sticker. This is um, King Crooked. 
you know, Crooked Eye, but now he goes by King Crooked, his Good vs. Evil albums. But this is Volumes 1 and 2, so it's combined. Because uh, he had Volume 1 release in one year and then Volume 2 release in another year. But this is a two-disker, uh, boom, boom. Pick that one up. It's also signed by Crooked Eye, which I particularly actually dislike. Signatures on CDs, so whatever. But that's how it came. And this was, I think, I feel like it was like $35. It was either $35 or $50. I totally forget, but it was one of those. But it was just the price they were selling it. It's not like a, a resell or anything like that. Um, next up, another one from the Griselda camp. This is Benny the Butcher. This is um, the Black Soprano family. And I haven't heard this one yet. So this was also, I believe, like $20 shipped. Um, I believe this was limited edition. I'm kind of forgetting. But um, anyways, I still have to pick this one up. It's a little shorter. It's eight songs. So I'm going to pick this one up in a, a lot of features. So yeah, Black Soprano family. Boom. Next up, we got, uh, so this is a dope album. This is West Side Guns' Pray for Paris. Uh, he had a couple covers for this. This is the one I wanted. Ugh, take it out. Yeah, boom, little digi-pack uh, sleeve. This is a really good album. One of my favorite West Side Gun projects, actually, Pray for Paris. I was happy you picked this one up. It's $20 was, you know, the price, and it had tax and shipping, whatever the hell. But um, dope, dope, dope album. Um, West Side Gun, Pray for Paris right there. Also, great artwork. This is, okay, so this is just really awesome. So this I had actually had um, before. It was a slightly different pressing. So um, this is Apathy's The Bootleg CD. And the version I have, it doesn't have uh, the spine right here. It's just a blank, it's blank. It, it does not have a spine. So see here how it says the bootleg CD, or maybe you can't see it all too clear. But anyways, it says the bootleg CD, and it clearly has a spine, whereas the other one is just clear. This one, open mic, it actually uh, blessed me with it. I'm very, very, very appreciative of that. Apathy is just one of my favorite rappers uh, ever. Um, and open mic, uh, I really appreciate not only your work, but also just blessing me with this. That was just really very kind of you. But, man, dude, this is hard to find. Um... I had actually spent on the other pressing I have, I had spent $100 on that. And this is just really very, like I said, hard to find. You won't really see it uh, anywhere. I only really know one other person with a copy, so I was stoked that he hooked me up with this. Appreciate it. Um, lastly, let's get into something that I got, or not lastly, second to last. We got uh, something from Shop Get On Down, one of my favorite companies. I do giveaways with them all the time, and they hooked it up with the esoteric releases right here, one of which being Ego Clapper, limited edition. This is the first time it was on vinyl. We actually did give these away um, like sometime in 2020, and then also this esoteric release right here. And this is also limited pressing. And I'm not sure if they're all the way sold out. If they aren't, go ahead to their website, peep it out. But pick those up. Very happy uh, they hooked me up with that. And then also they gave me the Mayhem Loren Harry Fraud Glass 2.0. This one I actually still haven't listened to it yet. Uh, I need to pop that one in. But uh, Harry Fraud is a really dope producer. Mayhem Loren is an awesome rapper. So I'm sure this is good. Thank you, Shot. Get on down. Appreciate it. Um... Lastly, so lastly, this is a Discogs purchase. This I got for $35 shipped. I thought it was a pretty good bargain. I'll show the record that I got first. This is L Fudge, uh, The Final Word. It's got self-titled on it. I had originally first heard this on the Gatalog Collection of Chaos, the crazy four-disc compilation by Self-Titled, and I did like this song, and I saw it, and it was still sealed. Not that I really care about the seal, but I saw it, and I picked it up. Uh, in addition to a few other things. So that's the vinyl. Next up got Jurassic 5 quality control cassette tape. Uh, this is a sampler. So as you can see, it's a different cover. You know, it's in a little cardboard case. Boom. Which is a, <laughs> a classic. One of the best songs I've ever heard. This is Boogie Down Productions. Love's Gonna Get You Material Love. This song uh, has a special meaning to me in addition to just how great it is. I've actually 
uh, submitted this like on extra credit back in schools. I related it to like philosophies that I was learning in, in my English class back in the day. And uh, yeah, man, let's just say uh, this, this has helped me out in more ways than you can know. This is a very, very, very great song. KRS-One is just legendary and um, boom. So this was part of that bundle. Next up, got a sealed copy of Above the Law's Legends sampler. Legends is a pretty dope album. Not as many people talk about it as much as, you know, Uncle Sam's Curse and Black Mafia Life and uh, their debut album as well. So, Living Like Hustlers. But this was pretty dope. Picked this one up. Sealed. Next up, MC8 Section 8 cassette tape. Picked that one up too. MC8. Great artist, man. Great artist. So, picked that one up. Also part of the bundle. Also love this artwork too. And then lastly, this is actually probably my favorite uh, Diggable Planet song, and this is where I'm from. And I picked this one up on the Maxi cassette tape. Um, it's just an excellent song. Um, the beat is also fantastic, and I was happy to add this one to the collection. So this, like I said, this bundle was 35 shipped. But anyways, this is everything I got uh, from the video. Um, or my latest pickups and let me know your favorites subscribe comment like do all that appreciate it see you next time